I asked Andy this, but also curious of your opinion. Two weeks ago, obviously, you guys took some heat for the way you played against the Raiders. Do you feel like the way that you guys have played in the two ensuing games in Buffalo and then today has anything to do with maybe some motivation or just not liking the way you played two weeks ago? I mean, you know, as football players, it's always good when you have a challenge in front of you, you know, especially one that you can see. So I think for us, it's all about us, you know, obviously, you know, learning from the Raiders game, um, then putting our head down and just going to work. I think as long as we play discipline, sound, you know, trustworthy football, um, it's not many teams that can, you know, imp affect us in a, in a negative way, you know. So um, I, I thought the last couple of weeks, obviously, you know, we've been taking some steps in the, in the right direction, um, you know, but we still got a long season ahead of us. So um, I, I think the sense of urgency, you know, as far as, you know, us playing consistent at all times. Um, and even throughout this game, you know, there's a lot of junk yardage that they was able to kind of, you know, and even some touchdowns that they were able to put up um, that, that we got to do a good job of, you know, limiting, you know, going forward. Let's go next to Todd Lebo. Go ahead, Todd. <clears throat> hey, Tyron, a couple of questions here. If you can take me through what you saw uh, on Dan's play where he picked it off and ran it back and then just take us through your interception and getting the ball that bounced up. Yeah, well, uh, if I tell you what happened with Dan play, uh, that'll mean I was I wasn't doing my job because <laughs> we was all in man to man coverage. And so but I did kind of see Dan jump in front of the route. Um, and, you know, I think that's that's what we expect from Dan. You know, he's a guy that studies really hard. Um, he's a guy that's always prepared. Um, and, you know, he's always clutch. You know, he's always stepping up, making those big time plays, you know, when we really need it. What was the second part? I'm sorry. Try to get you on mute here one second. All right, give that a shot. Uh -oh. We may have to come back to that one, Tyron. I think we're having some mute All problems right. here. Uh, let's shift to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Don't worry, I got time for you. Um, the first, his last question was about your interception. Uh, Tyron, can you just walk us through that? And then Brad, I'll ask my question. Oh, uh, my, my interception, I was just in the outside leverage um, you know, coverage. Um, uh, and, you know, I think anytime, you know, a receiver, you know, doesn't catch the ball or tips it in the air, you know, just gives me an opportunity to make the play. But um, obviously, you know, you expect the NFL receiver to come down with that catch, but, uh, you know, I'm glad he didn't. <laughs> and then uh, my question, Tyron, is obviously everybody last year knew you created the, the mantra of championship swagger, particularly in road games. I just wonder how much has the swagger developed or changed this year depending on you guys in year two in this defense yeah I mean well you know this is a this is a new season and I think you have to you know build your way to <clears throat> you know championship talk and championship swagger so um you know I think these last two games that we've been able to put together I do feel us tapping back into to that mantra to, to that attitude to that standard so um like I said we still got a long season ahead of us got some big games coming up um, and it's going to really prove who we are, you know, as a defense. So I'm um, just looking forward to us stepping up, coming to work, you know, each and every day, you know, with that energy, that attitude, you know, and just 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 wanting to have fun, you know, and wanting to play hard for the guy next to you. Got time for a couple more guys. We're going to Adam Tyshun and Sam Mellinger. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Tyron, a couple things real quick. First of all, um, Nate asked you about maybe uh, the, your swagger on the road. You guys have been really a, a better road team um, uh, than the home team since you've been here. Do you have anything you can put your finger on as to why? And also as a guy who's played against Le'Veon Bell before, what, what are the Chiefs getting from your perspective in a player like that? Yeah, um, I think every game is important. You know, obviously, you know, you have the home field advantage factor, you know, when you're playing at home. And then when you go on the road, it's all about your team. It's all about the teammates. It's all about the locker room. It's all about the energy. It's all about the attitude that that we're willing to, you know, embrace, you know. And I think we're doing a good job of that. You know, I think our coaches do a good job of, you know, always, you know, putting challenges in front of us, um, putting things in front of us that we can work on, that we can focus on, that can really get us better, you know, as a unit. Um, I thought I, I actually liked what I saw, you know, out of Le'Veon today. Um, you know, I know he's still getting back into it. You know, it's his first game with us, but I mean, you can tell right off the bat that this guy knows what he's doing, you know, with the, with the football in his hand. And, you know, I saw him made a made a one good run today, uh, made a couple guys miss. And um, so, I mean, we'll be expecting for him to to make some really, really big plays for us going forward. Glasses, Sam Mellinger. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, uh, 
Tyron, you and, and some of your teammates on defense have talked sometimes of, of wanting to sort of, not in a bad way, but emerge from the, the shadow of the offense, right, to, to be a reason that the team wins, take pride in that. I'm just wondering, is that still a thing, or do you feel like that's been established and, and people know that by now? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously, you know, we have a great offense, you know, and I think any time the opportunity presents itself for us to stand up, you know, make a stand, make plays, give give the offense opportunities to, to, to score, you know, even when those guys may not be clicking on all the cylinders that that they would like. Um, so, uh, I mean, it, we take great pride, and I think that starts with, you know, obviously, you know, Coach Spags, you know, and I think me and him are kind of the same, you know, we take everything so personal, you know, and so, um, and I, but I think it does the group well, you know, I think, you know, us obviously having that chip on our shoulder, you know, uh, not necessarily wanting to be the little brother, but wanting to be the reason or wanting to be part of the reason why, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs are a great team, man. So we're still working towards that. Um, we're still building towards that. But I think anytime we, we, we you have a performance like this where you can step up as a defense, um, I, I think it just sends confidence, you know, through the whole locker room that, you know, each unit can trust each other. Each unit can feed off each other and grow off each other.